Hey guys, so this will be a pretty special video of a unit that I'm supposed to, uh, I wanted to talk about for a long time. GG Witch Yashulta. So, in case you haven't seen her Lunar Burst, here it is. Figured the Lunar Burst that was for free, by the way, in case anyone's watching this after the fact that they don't, they can't get it anymore, but this unit was free. But this is CG Lunar Burst. And she's very competitive. The only negative downside is that she does not have imperils on her moves, but that's okay. She's very competitive. She's able to get several things, getting mod boosts and the like. So even if we don't have a way of getting imperils, we have other units with us today that we can do that for us. And Aerith is only here to give us some MP back if we need it. We might need it because these are some pretty thirsty mages, right? Am I right? XD. So this is only the first turn. Not expecting any damage. Didn't expect any amount of damage here. She all mismatched. That's fine. Still a decent amount of damage, but remember that we have four chainers with us, so... First, we're just going to see how much damage they can all do to get it together. And she does have water. Uh, I guess we should talk about that while we're just, I mean, we're still talking. This is this video is about her, not anyone else. If you use this, you have ch you have access to the ice and also the water. The other one is the mod boosting one. But if you do that, by the way, guys, I uh, realized uh, that you lose the fire and the earth. I just realized as well that she had fire in her, so she has access to a lot of elements, guys. But if you use the this one, if they use this move, you lose access to the fire and the earth, just so you guys know. And you don't get access to it back unless she dies. So keep that in mind, guys. Let's see how let's see how strong we can do. It's gonna be a little hard to chain four of them together, even with the keyboard. It's gonna be a little hard to do. Yeah, see, we missed one. But that's fine. Very high cha chaos wave chaining. And our damage. Very high. Not sure why they still included the commas yet for, for this. That'd be really important for this. I'm gonna be precise. Still have quad cast, so let's just try these two now. That was perfect. Pretty sure she's gonna lose quad casting if she hasn't already. Yeah, she already did, so we'll just do this. Uh, it's not gonna be that much, it's not gonna add that much damage to the equation, so it's okay. Subtract a little bit from that. That's a lot of damage, guys. That's a lot of damage. Now let's try. Let's try with her. I believe this is the maximum uh, amount of fire in peril this turn. Never mind, it's not. I lied. Let's try with just her and CG Terra. Now we're gonna need the this for sure. Not nearly as strong as the Vivi one, but I mean CG Terra is a lot older. So it's understandable why that's not that strong. And also their stacks weren't built up that much. Oh, we lost triple cast already, huh? But we almost have it back up again. So she has one turn that she'll have it not triple cast or quad casting, but that's okay. Now she does have quad casting with this though, but uh well I mean it doesn't really matter since it'll be it's turn five right now, anyways. I wish this was global; we'd have a lot more time. We'll try the CG Fino one next. This is how much it does: 15 hits. So doesn't really matter. We'll just we'll do the CG Fino one for the next round. 
but she'll, if you have, she's really good as like a free to play. She's really good as a free to play because, oops, uh, if you're like free to play and you have this unit, you can just bring like a a summon fest unit like CG Dark Fina with you, and she can imperil for fire for you. And our turns line up decently. Yeah, let's see, they both have triple cast. She wants to get her mod boost up. And get the triple cast going, and uh, get that going. So they have pretty pretty good turn, actually. They have pretty good uh, first turn. Or they line up pretty well. Not expecting anything, of course, as per not really needing to do any damage on the first turn, but the second turn is where the damage should start picking up a lot more. She's actually one of probably probably these two are probably the best partners available. For uh, Vivi only has dual cast, and CG Terra does not have quad cast for very long. They're she already lost it. So very good partners right here. These two probably the best partners available. So on the JP side, if you oops, that's not gonna add so much anyways. If you have your Shulton, you have a bunch of CG Dark Fina friends. You've got match made in heaven, really. Now that our mods are stacked up a lot, our, our damage should be going up, 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 up higher and higher. Actually, she has she has higher mods than most mages in the game right now for a free unit, so... Our, our, our mods are climbing, guys. Our mods are climbing and they're not getting any weaker anytime soon. So let's keep going. Perfect. Let's see how, let's see where that goes. Let's see where that grades us. Really strong, guys. Really strong. Obviously, we lost podcast. She still has it. That's fine. Uh, that's about it. That's about it, guys. Uh, she's really strong. She just needs a little help with the imperiling, but that's fine. Also, I guess I've. I should have mentioned you can also use this. She also gets a, a mod boost from this move, but it doesn't seem to, it just unlocks some other things. So that might going to exclude that, but it does give a mod boost. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy this uh, exclusive look. This is my whale build by the way. Don't need all this stuff to make her good. You can, she can be like 2.5k magic or even lower than that to be super strong because she's, uh, she's very strong for a free unit, and her mods are actually stronger than most units. Plus, she has mod boosts. So, on top of the strong stacking damage, which she can reach a lot faster than most units, she has mod boosts, and the mod boosts are very important, you guys. So make sure you do the, the lower ones, when at the beginning. Because they last for two turns. They vary between the the thunder and the wind one only last three turns because you can get them right away. But the other ones, well, actually, they all vary, really, don't they? The fire one is probably actually the best. The fire and the earth last for five turns. So probably want to gear for gear for those uh, gear for CG Dark Phoenix. She's like she's actually the best partner. Five turn that the mod boost lasts and fire and earth she can chain with fire and earth so these two are probably the best partners available the other ones are okay Vivi's okay and CG Terra is okay but if you can get yourself a CG Dark Fina friend or even if you have one yourself and you just want to chain and bring a defensive teammate with you these two are probably the best partners above everyone else other than maybe just a dupe but finding a dupe might be a little hard Surprisingly, I know, right? Uh, I have not really found very many, so your your mileage may vary. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed this special special look into CD Michelle's a free unit that's super strong. She can get up to like 4K magic with buffs, I believe. So very good, very good. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Please like and please let me know down below. 
uh, what majors you guys are looking forward to. If you're looking forward to CD Shota or not, maybe you are, maybe you're not. Maybe you just don't want to care about mages at all. You just want physical DPS. That's fine too. But I love mages, so I wanted to make this for you guys. And I should have talked about CD Shota a long time ago, but I never got around to it. And I know a lot of people on my stream wanted me to talk about it, so this is a video dedicated just to her. So, once again, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.